What's cooking guys? Have you ever used a bunch of effects on a clip and it just took you so long to do and you actually want to save it so you can use it for later? Well, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create effects presets in Premiere Pro. Let's do it. Alright guys, effects presets can be really easy to save, but they can be a little tricky when you're actually using them again on a different adjustment layer or a different clip. When you have certain effects that you are ready to save and you have it exactly how you want it. For example, I have these two effects right here where I created kind of like a pan whip transition. I actually just created a tutorial on this type of transition in my last video. So I'll leave that in the description so you can check it out. But anyway, I had these two effects. I had a directional blur and an offset, but it, it did take me a little while to create the keyframes and to adjust the graph and everything like that. So I don't really wanna have to do this a million times for this video if I wanted to use it in multiple parts of this video or in for my next video. So what you can do is you can select all your effects layers on Mac, for me it's command. And after I have them all selected, I'm going to right click on it and I'm just gonna do save preset name it however you want it and I'm just gonna do okay and now I saved it and if I want to see where I saved it to it will be in your effects tab and then right under your presets and there's my transition pan left transition but here's the tricky part I can't just grab an adjustment layer and drop it over a different part of my timeline and then grab the pan left transition and drop it on that adjustment layer and expect it to be exactly the same length as my transition that I saved it from it adjusted it to the length of that adjustment layer. So to avoid doing that, I'm going to grab my adjustment layer and shrink my adjustment layer to how I want it before I put the pan left transition onto it. And then once you have that adjustment layer set to how you want it, you can drop the pan left transition. And then that effect is going to be the length of that newly created adjustment layer. So simply just create an adjustment layer and adjust the length of that before you put the preset on. Or if you want, you can go in the settings and change the length of your adjustment layers to like 10 frames. So you can just drag and drop your adjustment layer and it's already set, you don't have to change it and then put your preset on top of it. All right, so that's all I really got for this video. Pretty easy way to create effect presets to save you some time so you don't have to keep doing all the same changes to your effects layers for multiple different clips or for multiple different projects. You just save the preset and then you can just grab it from your effects into your presets and drag and drop. Simple as that. Just make sure you change those adjustment layer sizes. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you can keep up with all my tutorials and other videos. Other than that, that's all I got for you. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.